Hello, welcome to the lesson 14 of our advanced English vocabulary class. And the first word of our today's lesson is equivocal. Equivocal means not clear or seeming to have two opposing meanings or confusing. Something that's enigmatic or ambiguous or vague is basically an equivocal. The hint to memorize this word is equivocal, equation or an vocal. When someone teaches equation in a vocal way, that will not be clear and confusing. Like you can see the expression of this dog, he, is a, he has some enigmatic or ambiguous expression, so he is basically equivocal. The example is, his words to the press were deliberately equivocal. He didn't deny the reports, but neither did he confirm that. This means that he had some vague idea or he had some uh, ambiguous point of view. The next word is excessor exacerbate exacerbate means to make something that is already bad even worse to worsen something to aggravate or to inflame something the hint to memorize is extra debate when we already debate uh, when already debate is going on and we, if we make extra debate things will become worse this means that they will worsen or this they will exacer exacerbate the example is, this attack will exacerbate the already tense relations between the two communities. And the next example is, excessive or hard exercise can exacerbate it. This means that a hard exercise may worsen a current worst situation. The next word is jubilation. Jubilation means a feeling of great happiness, especially because of a success. A feeling of triumph, joy, or scarcity is basically jubilation. To memorize this word, jubilation, jubilee nation. If the day is a jubilee for a nation, then that will lead to celebration. That means that the day of the jubilee will be celebrated with the triumph or joy. The examples are, there was a jubilation in the crowd as the winning goal was scored. This means that the crowd enjoyed or celebrated that last winning goal and the next example is my emotions went from depression to sheer jubilations within five minutes this means that they had a rapid i had a rapid flip of em uh, emotions the next word is malevolent malevolent means causing or wanting to cause harm or evil yeah, no. to uh, be a hostile bitter or malicious about something malevolent it is a combination of male violent when a male when a man is violent he will cause harm to others this means that he will show his malevolent behavior the examples are the central character is a malevolent which out of uh, which out for the revenge and the second example is gossip is hurtful and mean and cannot be described as anything but malevolent this means that the gossip is usually bitter or hostile type the next word is forego. To not have or do something enjoyable. Uh, to do without any uh, enjoyment. To give up or to surrender. Forego can be forest go. When we have to go and live in the forest, it is not something we enjoy. So we have to forego that enjoyment or that uh, the feeling of pleasure and all that. I shall have to forego the pleasure of seeing you in this week. And the next example is, I shall forego desert tonight. I am trying to lose weight. This means that I have to go without desert in order to, if I am going to lose my weight. Okay, that's all for today. Hope we will meet in our next.